Guys, welcome back to another video. We got Chance the Rapper here. What's going on, Chance? Good to see you, bro. It's good. Yeah. It's Ty the Creator mixed with Chance the Rapper. It's it's little little. Welcome simp. to church. Shut the fuck up. Welcome to church. Welcome to church, guys. And also, guys, get, check it. out his merch. The merch is sick right there. Go check it out at thesyncshop.com. We're just killing it. Go check it out. The hoodies are definitely the best seller. So go cop yourself a hoodie or a shirt. Bro, it's or summertime. Shirt. Cop yourself a white tee. It's true. hot outside. No, the true. white Unless you live sick. in Alaska, then cop a hoodie. Yeah, exactly. Guys, it's gonna be sick. Let's get into it. Trisha Paytas did something so weird. You need to see this. I'm going to show you that at the end of the video. But first, we're going to be going over Jake Paul, who's being hypocritical with Julia Rose. Talked about how he's really against bullying and then did something that's kind of bullying, bro. What did he, okay. what did he do? Okay. Dude, he, he made some mean jokes about Tana Mongo. So make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and follow us on Instagram. It'll be linked down below. And the merch is available. Go check it out. Boys, ready to go? Let's go. Woo, let's let's go. get right into this. We're going to first get into Jake Paul. Here's the video that he made about Tana Mongo. This is the first thing that kind of got everything started. Wait, 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 it was fake married a sloth? Yep, calling Kana Mongo a sloth. This is all the stuff he's inflicted on himself. I mean, yeah, but he's calling someone a sloth bad, like a girl, like calling... But I feel like they had that friendship where you can call them a sloth. No, when do you no, have no. that friendship to call anyone a sloth? What do you mean? I call you a fucking simp. It's like the same thing, but it's a different term, like sloth. Okay, but that's not like physical appearance. That's not offending somebody's physical appearance. Yeah, dude, when I think of mm -hmm. sloth, I think of like a... I think of like a girl an ugly that, person. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the ugly person. Age sloth, right? Right, like a little slower, yeah. they're a little like maybe chunkier, right? Like yeah, that's exactly. what you're saying. Tana Mongu is, and does that cross the line? Uh, I mean, I've seen people cross the line way worse. So yeah, no, yeah. I'm chilling. That's true. But what does make this worse is that right after this happened, he came out with a video about his new anti-bullying campaign that he's on. Oh. So let's see what he said about that. The boxing bullies acronym is Box B O X. Be kind to everyone. Only defend, never initiate, and X out bullying. Live by the mottos, baby. If you're a bully, it's not cool. I okay. Okay. First of all, the B, it says what? Be kind to everyone? Yeah, I think he so. He said, like, what's up, you Irish cunt to Conor McGregor? <laughs> okay, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what was the change, sec Christy. You, you don't let people change. I mean, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm fine with him changing. That. I'm fine with him changing, but the first two letters was wrong. And yeah. then what was the second letter? It's be kind to everyone, only defend, never initiate, exile bullying. He doesn't defend. He went to go take... He Floyd's does hat and got his ass beat. True, true, true. And then he also, I think the bad one is calling Conor McGregor an Irish cunt and then saying that his wife but is But he ugly. defends himself in the ring, so I'm oh, on Jake oh, Paul's side. Yeah. That's how you justify it right yeah, there, okay? Yeah. You, but you definitely see some irony here. Like yeah, 100%, that he, yeah, 100%. Yeah, okay, right, let's keep it going. Defend, never initiate, and X out bullying. They couldn't think of the last one. <laughs> They're like, what? Fuck, what starts with X? I know, yeah. I know. It's like X out bullying. It's like kind of, you yeah, know? Yeah, I mean, like, we'll just add it. It'll be smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And All if right. you see bullying happening, you got to stop it. You got to stand up and be like, that's not cool. Cyberbullying is affecting so many people, causing depression in our generation, and I hate it. <laughs> okay, okay, that's kind of fucked. Like, he literally blatantly cyberbullied Tana Mongo and then posted this. Literally, like, yeah. like not even a week out outside of that, you know? I yeah. think they did the same day he posted that. But I feel like they have the relationship they can do that, though. I don't know. She did get upset. I'll show you what Tana said. This was her response. Oh, so you should pull out the dick joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All you right, guys. but every every girl pulls out the dick joke yeah. afterwards. Like, come on. I feel like it's just it's just what she would do in that situation. You're saying that you don't think Jake Paul's actually a millimeter That's the Peter? easiest comeback for any girls because no guy would look at another guy's cock to fucking true. verify. True. So you'd, of course, just Besides be believer. Kyle. <laughs> Besides <laughs> Kyle. Besides yeah. Kyle. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But, dude, yeah, okay, so you're saying that he, she uses that just as an excuse to kind of get him pissed off, right? Yeah. I mean, I just think that's a common It's just a little clap back. It's just mm. a nice, nice little clap back. But does Jake Paul have a small penis yeah it's a little clap back it's a little clap back <laughs> yeah. yeah okay i, agree I don't want to fucking think about his dick so just fuck off Kyle <laughs> <laughs> loves thinking about his dick i mean i don't love it but it's like you know it's a little interesting fuck dude oh god i'm hot but I like how she has, like, the Alyssa Violet video in the back, too. Yeah, like, like, like what what relevance does that have? I don't know. Both, saying that they both experienced the small penis that Jake Paul has. It's yeah, kind they of probably like, talked about it and they're like, wow, Jake Paul's wiener was actually really small. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I know. Like, that's the worst when, like, you date two separate girls and then they become best friends and they just talk about your penis size. It's fucked. Really? Has that ever happened to you? That's basically what they're doing right there. True. But has that, that's never happened to you, though, right? No, no, no. no. Okay, okay. Because I know that's happened to something. I mean, we were doing the roast of Bryce Hall and he was like, Dude, I want my girlfriends on there, but I don't want them to talk about my 
a penis. <laughs> yeah. so I was like, dude, there's yeah. something weird about his dick, maybe. I don't know. Nah, like, curve to the left, curve to the right. Dude, I don't want to fucking think about that shit. Chris, this is our job. This is what we get paid to do. Now think about his dick and evaluate. Go. Go. Okay. No. Chris, come on. Give us the circumference that you think. Like, okay, what do you think the, like, the, like, the width of Bro, dick? Bro, like, no. Like, like, Chris, like this. No. No. Oh, oh, ah, 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 ah. I'm not saying nothing. I, I just told you I'm not saying anything. Can you continue? This segment's been way too long about cock. Influencer cock. Because you fucking dream about it. And you apply it to the workspace. Yeah, can we call HR, please? Yeah, can we call <laughs> our fucking HR department? Right, let's, keep it, let's keep it going. So the people are saying, why is she so mean? Uh, she says, I couldn't tell you. I don't like Jake Paul, but you saying it's small and does nothing because he's still smashed. I was saying... So and, and then the guys always got the clap back. Right always there. got the clap back, We right? still smash, though. We still hit. Yeah, yeah exactly. Fair. So that's still a win, right? Like, it's Tana Margo. She's so bad, you know? Dude, shut up. You don't think she's bad, bro? Are you kidding no. me? I think she's, uh, yeah. dude, no, I, I'm gonna be honest. No, I don't think she's bad. Okay, well, you can tell her that because she's coming on the podcast on Monday. Yeah, and we're also gonna be asking her how small is Jake Paul's actual cock, right, yes. guys? Yes. Okay, yeah. All right, let's keep it going, guys. Please tell me how weird you think this is. Trisha Paytas' new music video. She's done a lot of weird ones. This is the biggest one. This is called Sad Boy 2005 Van Gogh. Oh God. <laughs> okay, wait. What the fuck? Is she a Nazi? Yeah, I must say. Like, is she, she a German yeah. Nazi? <laughs> Keep watching because I think she's on the American side. Yeah, that's but it does look like she's part of the Nazi army a little bit, right? Okay, now I see the American flag. Now. Yeah, okay, and, okay. but that would be fucked because her husband is really Jewish. And so is uh, her, like, you know, family that's connected to the husband, right? Yeah, I was like, I was like oh, okay. are these Nazis? And I was like, I saw two black guys right there. <laughs> like, okay, we're chilling. Uh, let's keep it going. And they say you can turn water to wine. You can let love be the blind For you've already scratched out my eye And painted you a paradise Turn it off, turn it off. I don't even care if it would be decent. I don't want to listen to it. Oh, dude, I've like, spent I've way too much money for this fucking music video, and it only has 80k views. <laughs> <Dude, laughs> she probably spent like a, a hundred grand easily on this fucking music. You're telling video. me she's not making that money back on 80,000 views? <laughs> We've no. listened to her voice enough to know that that's so much autogen. Yeah. Okay. But th this, this is where the scene gets a little bit more intense. <laughs> But have you have you seen those TikToks where like there's like just pedestrians filming it and it oh, looks like so weird? Oh, filming the music video being done. Like behind the scenes, it's on like Santa Monica Beach or whatever, and there's like a whole bunch of kids running around and like a whole bunch of people, and it just looks weird as shit. I have it. This is her like filming it behind the scenes, right? So this is how they did it. <laughs> <laughs> and there's just like a whole bunch of fucking kids. <laughs> Just Bro. behind her, just like watching her, just scream bloody murder. <laughs> At least, like, l mouth it. No, you don't <laughs> have to scream, dude. You go to Santa Monica. You're like from Germany. This is your first trip to LA. Yeah. You see like Trisha in a World War II costume, screaming your fucking head off, bro. <laughs> yeah, this is just like, it's like, oh, I'm never coming back here ever again. Never. Honestly, again. you gotta commend it. Like, I'd love to think like how she thinks. You know, like imagine thinking what you're doing is that good. When it's that shit. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> I would Jesus love to, fuck. like, have that. Yeah, okay. I get what you mean. So that's the weirdest thing that happened today. Trisha Paytas' music video is so weird. Very weird. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's also weird that her pussy still lives on the internet. It is still on the internet. And that's her true. butthole with uh, toilet paper on it. Thank you guys for watching. Go cop the merch. Um, merch. We're back on the YouTube grind. All and Kai watches below. Trisha Paytas porn. Nah, that's not true. Sinkshop.com. Peace. Peace.